everybody, my name is Janae Toy and this is my channel where I talk about whatever I want. I plaited one side, haven't plaited the other, and I just thought, hey, I haven't recorded anything this morning. Yeah, so, um, I'm just packing away my stuff, it's like 6am, nearly 7. Um, and then I'm gonna go round town to find some Brexit. Brex breakfast? Brexits? Breakfast. <laughs> Get my words out right. Yeah, no. Then I am off to a little town northeast of here. Can't remember what it's called, like Bridlington or something. Um, but yeah, luckily the lady here set me up with some people she knows over there by the St Mary's Church over there. So should be fun. <laughs> okay, so I have packed up the stuff. Violin down there. Put my hair up in two plaits, but I tied them back um, just so that, you know, while I'm in town. I'm going to look for a place to eat now because I've got no breakfast, but yeah, um, see you in a bit. Okay, so it's just a little past 7 a.m., and I'm looking for breakfast. Luckily, my key still works. So I'll hopefully be able to do that, go back, get my backpack and violin and then yeah. Um, so I'm going to go get breakfast. Alright, so I have found a place to eat. I've got some breakfast. I went to Cafe Nero, which is expensive, but it's better than not having breakfast. So yeah, back on the road in a bit. All right, so I've just had some breakfast, still got my cup of tea because it's warm. Um, I'm heading back to the church now to pick up the rest of my things, going to drink my tea and then I'm going to be off. It's an early start for me today, but that's the best kind of start, I guess. So, yeah. All right, so I'm back at the church house with the very lovely acoustics, um, drinking my tea and I should be getting going any minute once I've finished this and had a piss, so see you in a bit. Okay, so the road is pretty straightforward now. I just have to keep going north or, you know, straight on this street. Then I am going to end up in the... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Don't remember the name of the place. I feel bad, but oh well. I know where I'm going. Got Google Maps, that's all that matters. All right, so I keep having to walk forwards. Um, that's literally going to be the way it is for the rest of the trip today. Literally just going straight. But there's something interesting coming up that I would like to show thee. All right, so here's what I wanted to show you. Hang on, just coming up on it. Big old train tracks right through the middle of the city. So yeah, for any of my um, international viewers who aren't British, this is basically what a train track looks like in England. So yeah, and the lights turn yellow and red. Hang on, there we go. Those lights will turn yellow and red. They will. So yeah, awesome stuff. Now attempting to tackle my worst enemy, the roundabout have to cross and go straight but first gotta go past here which is a pain so let's try this i did it i conquered the roundabout and now there's a path i'm happy yes all right i am carrying on down this way and hoping that there is a path for the rest of the way if not i will have to walk on the road and that is very frightening to me because it's not a backcountry road, I actually have to follow the main one. So I'm not too happy about that, but it has to be done. Alright, so I'm now in Tipton. Hang on, I can't zoom in, but there's a sign and I'm now in Tipton, so yeah. Alright, so you know that moment when the world just crumbles? and you don't know why, and then you figure it out, and you're like, oh crap, this is worse than I thought. Yeah, no, my period is a week early. It just popped in to say hi, and I was like, thank you for being early, and also, please go away. 
I don't need you right now. So I'm incredibly stressed. Um, and yeah, so got to cross this road real quick. Should not be recording when crossing roads. But it was clear, so oh well. Um, but yeah, so a little bit sad about that. Very stressed about that. But that explains all the stress as of late. So yeah, now I'm just gonna carry on my way and get to Brandeth Burton. So, see you in a bit. All right, I just found this bench here. Um, so I'm sitting here for a moment. There is no road or path, sorry. There is no path and whole bridge looks to be cars only, which is scary, but I'll, I'll give it a go. Um, yeah, so, okay, not looking forward to this. Yeah, and before anyone asks, um, no, I am not going to be recording on the bridge, unless of course there is a pedestrian cross, you know, a pedestrian part, at which point I might record, but I'm terrified right now, and I'm going to have to go with the cars, so, not looking forward to this. Alright, so if you can hear me with cars going at 50 miles an hour, luckily there is a pedestrian road, which is all I need in life. Um, but yeah, all of that just across one tiny little river. It's only a few steps wide. That is literally only a few steps wide. So yeah, all of that. Just a huge bridge. Cars going 50 mile an hour because of one little river and another one on the other side. Oh well, I guess. All right, I'm over the bridge. Having to walk on grass now, but it's better than having to walk on road. Um, so I'm going to see how far I can get. Alright, so I appear to have made it to Ticton. I, um, I thought I was in Ticton before because um, the garden centre was called Ticton, but nah, now I'm in Ticton. And it's a beautiful little town just behind me. Not going to show too much, but yeah. And there looks to be a path that way, so looking forward to that. Alright, so just to prove that I'm not naive about the whole hitchhiking thing, I had a guy offer, he was a bit shady, so I said no, but I was very polite and I managed to shake him off quite easily. So, yeah, hitchhiking, always do it safely. Never get in when it's just you and one other guy, especially if it's a guy and you're a girl, because that can end badly, you know? But yeah. And I only ever do it on backcountry roads because when you're on a main road like this, it, yeah, I don't trust people. It's good to trust people, but it's also good to not trust people. So I'm going to be walking now. See you in a bit. All right, so I've taken a quick pause because I found something beautiful that I want to show you. Right there, it's a little wreath of flowers. I just thought that was cute and I wanted to show you guys, so yeah. Guess who just crossed the road? Because I found the path. I am going on the path before I die. <laughs> I found a path. I feel safe. I'm technically walking on the wrong side of the road, but I don't care. It's safer this way. I've got a path. All right, this day just keeps getting better and better. I found a bench. Literally a bench. Yeah. No. Okay. Significantly worse. Bag just fell down. I didn't pick it up though. But fun bench. I'm well happy. I can sit down, take a break, eat some snacks, and then get going again. Uh, Leaven, I believe, is only like four, probably about three, four miles away between there. And um, Brandis Burton is about the same. Or double, sorry. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. There we go. 
sign for Ruth, which is where I'm now at, hopefully. Because all these signs seem to be like a few miles before or something. But yeah, I'm now at Ruth. Guess what? I've hit the halfway point. Uh, yeah, Beverly that way, Hornsey, Bricklington, Tipton, Beverly, and then leaving in Brownsburton. So yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah, and I uh, found another bench to sit on. Uh, Saviour of my life, benches are. Love them. Um, Google says another 4.2 miles. Uh, it'd be a tad bit more than that because I'm not going to the church. I'm going a tad bit further than the church. Um, but yeah, I think I will have another bottle of water because I've been walking for a lot longer than this video makes it seem because editing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sit down, have some water, then carry on. Oh yeah, I should probably mention I can't say the name of this town, so I'm calling it Brandenburg. Or Brandisburg. I, Brandisburton? I, I can't even. So I'm naming it after the violin, well, not violin concerto, it's a the whole orchestra piece. But I played it once, Brandenburg concerto number three. So that's what I'm calling it, Brandenburg. Until such time as I can remember the actual name of it, it will be called Brandenburg in my head. So yeah deal with it okay so I've had some water and some food and I am now back on the road I'm going around a little detour just so I can avoid the road as much as possible so yeah hope Google don't mind all right so just got to the nags head two for one carvery all day Saturday and Sunday that's bloody brilliant that is having an all-day carvery that is rare well, I mean, it's not, but it is. That makes sense. Finding them is rare. <laughs> At least for me. But yeah. That's it. It's a beautiful pub. And apparently the road carries on all the way. And there's a path on it, which is awesome. So, yeah, I'm going to carry on this way. Hey, guys. I crossed another road and found another path. I'm well happy now. Yeah. Alright, so I just saw a dying bee and I had to help it, so I put it on a flower. Oh. And then a guy kind of cycled past and looked at me all weird and I was like, that was a dying bee, I had to help it. You know, you've got you got to help other nature. You know, we are nature, we've got to help other nature, got to help the world. I've done my part, I helped a dying bee. So yeah, call me weird, because I am. Call me weird in the comments. That'd be fun. <laughs> All right, so I just met a lovely fella who invited me in here to have a look at some of the lakes and take some photos. And cool, those cabins are gorgeous. Hang on, let me show you. <laughs> look at this, I've just walked into paradise. I don't know how I did it. But yeah, gorgeous cabins. I'd love to make a cabin like that, you know? Oh, look at that lake. It's gorgeous, beautiful. See, I would love to live like in a remote area like this with a cabin in the woods, but just me. Just one cabin all on my own in the middle of the woods and my neighbor might be like a mile down the road. Oh, it's gorgeous. But yeah, this is like a dream place but unfortunately on a mass scale. But yeah, it's beautiful nonetheless. Love to live, you know, in somewhere like this. Maybe in Sweden though, because Sweden's got more area for lower price. But yeah, he said I could come in, take some photos, take a video. Apparently there's swans nesting. Oh, there's geese. Yeah, I'm gonna take some photos. Oh well, got a walk out of paradise and then back onto Brandsburg or Brandenburg, I don't know. Brandsburton, I don't know how to say it. Bye bye, paradise. No! Off we go. And just round this corner, there's a um, path. So, yeah, looking forward to that. 
on the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Here we go. I have found something very cute. It's a little wooden bridge. Hang on, let me show you like actually walking over it. This is so damn cute. I love it. Hang on. There we go. That's the river we're crossing. This is so cute. Oh my word, nice. It's so cute. I love it. I love wooden bridges. They're so adorable. There we go. Back on the road. Okay, now time for my worst enemy. The roundabout. I hate roundabouts, but I gotta go straight, gotta cross it. Ugh, I hate life. Let's go. Okay, so I've got a dilemma. I want to cross the roundabout and go straight. However, there is a sign saying that there is food. And it's nearly midday and I'm hungry. Do I wait to get to Bransburton, which is like another couple miles, or do I just go straight to food now? I'll see if it's open. If not, I'm going to Bransburton. So yeah. Hey guys. Oh. Hey guys. Look what I'm under. It's a tunnel of trees. I love tunnel of trees. Oh look, bluebells. They look like purple snowdrops, but they're bluebells. But yeah, cute. And I'm under lead tunnel, oh, lead trees. So if I can't find somewhere to eat, I'm going straight to Bransburton. If the place to eat is not open, I'm going straight to Bransburton. It appears that there is a way to cut off the entire roundabout and a public bridle way, which means I don't have to walk on the road no more. Fun. <laughs> Okay, so I've asked a local and apparently if I go through the town of Leven, that'll take me through to Bransburton much faster than if I were, well, much faster and safer than if I were to take the A1 whatever it was. <sighs> so yeah, I'm basically taking a back road, which is my favourite kind of road, because the back roads slow down for you. The main roads do not. So yeah, okay, so I'm taking a very quick break because I just realized my head's exposed and it, I'm gonna get heat stroke if I carry on like this. I'll either need to put on some sun cream, which will get these flies off my face, or put a hat on or both. Um, and I'm also going to stop for some water just because I've got my water there. Um, but yeah, it's a gorgeous day today. It smells beautifully of horse manure. <laughs> All right, so it's 12 o'clock, like exactly 12 o'clock. Uh, sun's out. I've got a knitted cardigan on and I'm just about to approach Leven, which is a village on the way to Bransburn. So yeah, hoping that I can get there by a reasonable hour. See you in a bit. I just found a pheasant. Hang on. Oh, there it goes, it's running. Yeah, no, pheasants are cool. Okay, so Leven. Beautiful little town or village, I guess. Got everything you need. It's got a park, which is shut at the moment. It's got a little garage around the back there, which hopefully will have a shop in it. And I've looked on Google Maps and it's got a church, so Three things you need. Oh wait, no, post office. It doesn't have a post office. At least not from what Google Maps says. But yeah, getting around here, there is a shop. That is all I need. All right, so I've looked. It is not a shop that I am needing. I need like a place where I can buy some food. So yeah, um, I'm gonna look around the village, see if I can find the shop with the food. And until such time, I will only be showing you the pretty things. Okay, so I followed a footpath around because I wanted to see this, but it's gorgeous, look at it. This here is Leven Lock. 
It's beautiful. And I just followed it because I wanted, well, I wanted to show you, really. So, yeah. Now I've been here, I can walk back and actually get on the right path again. I don't have long left in terms of recording time, but this is awesome and I thought you should see it. So, yeah. Okay, just turning because I found a shop. I am going to buy some breakfast stuff because that's the only stuff I don't have, so yeah. Alright, so there weren't much in the shop, but I did get a drink. Now I'm just on to the rest of the walk to Bransburn. Yeah, no, just saying, um, I feel very safe again now because A, country roads, and B, path. So, very happy about that. And this is going to be the way it is all the way to Brownsburton. So, all right, so I'm taking a real quick break, uh, sitting on my pack. I really shouldn't be. Um, but I have called my uncle, of all people, because I know that one of my two uncles actually has, like, a house here in Yorkshire, and I want to find out where it is. So, yeah, going to look that up when I get internet. Hey, guys, I'm here. Yes, now I just got to find the church and then the farmhouse is behind the church. All right, it went from needing a hat to needing a coat very damn quick. It is now raining, so I had to put the rain cover on. Oh, uh, why does life do this to me? <sighs> All right, so it's been raining on and off. Um, I just sat in a bus shelter for ages talking to my dad and grandmother. I love my nan, she's so awesome. But literally, it was one after the other. So yeah, I had a chat with them both and I'm literally just coming up on the farmhouse that I'm gonna be staying at. So yeah, see you when I get there. All right, so I've gotten to the farmhouse and oh my God, there is so much land. It's gorgeous. I'm not gonna show you the actual front of the house, but oh, it's beautiful. I've always wanted to live in a place like this. It's wonderful. All right, talk to you again later. All right, you might be wondering, how did I get here in this beautiful, gorgeous, huge, huge room? The answer is, I struck gold. Hang on. Okay, so we've done a lot today and I've got very little recording time left, so let's get through this. I woke up and took a picture for the YouTube thumbnail for yesterday's video. Um, went out for breakfast, came back to the church, phoned my dad. That's the thing that I do every morning, but I was like, hey, it was especially notable this time. Um, <sighs> left for Brandisburton, or Bransburton, as people here say it. Um, I can finally say it, by the way. <laughs> Um, across the whole bridge, I couldn't find a shop in Ticton, very sad about that. Um, took a detour through Leven, which is called Leven, not Leven, as I kept think thinking it. Um, stopped at the Canal's Head Lock, which was a beautiful lock, and, um, hang on, did I write it down? No, I didn't, but, um... I actually called my uncle Stephen and he, unfortunately he lives on the northwest Yorkshire, but I might go visit him sometime on this trip. So yeah, had a chat with him. Um, where else did I go? I carried on north um, through Leven and I went to a Costco and bought myself a bottle of juice because I've been drinking nothing but water and tea this whole journey. So, yeah, it was a nice little change of pace, having some tropical juice. Um, carried on to Brandisburton. It wasn't that far, actually. So, it was a nice... <sighs> nice little um, detour through town. Very, very effective one as well. Um, talked to Dad and Nana. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, hang on, there we go. My dad and Nan both called me, like almost exactly one after the other. So it was dad first, then Nana. And so, yeah, that was fun. Had a chat with my Nan. I love talking to my Nan. She's, she's awesome. Um, then I arrived at the farmhouse and I set up my tent. My tent is still set up out in the back garden, by the way. 
and they've got a huge garden. They live on a farm and they inherited this house, which by the way, if you want to know what this house looks like, um, uh, what's the name of that episode? The sequel to the episode Father's Day in the Ninth Doctor's run on Doctor Who. I can't remember the name of the episode, but it's the one where Rose Tyler, you know, doesn't exist, and Jackie Tyler has a dog named Rose, and Rose Tyler gets very upset about that. Um, anyway, I've got about 30 seconds. Um, arrived at the farmhouse, put my tent up, went to the shop for breakfast bars, I found some this time, um, came back and had a shower, ate dinner, they did me a great dinner, um, chatted with the people here, they were super nice, and got offered a room for the night. I took it, by the way. Didn't I just? A. And I am now recording for YouTube. So, yeah, see you tomorrow. Like, subscribe, share, and all that jazz.